Hello and welcome back to uh, Skies of Arcadia with me, Matthew Gaddis, a.k.a. Poogie. So today we will uh, finish up Shrine Island and um, see what it is with the mysterious moonstone that fell from the sky. But first, let's go to the right and get two sacred crystals from this treasure chest that is conveniently located now the um, ruins have sunk. So now we have to uh, somehow drop the water level even further than before. So yeah, and there's a nice little effect there that um, apparently lights up these torches. And um, it doesn't do anything, by the way. It doesn't do anything at all. So, um, with that said, um, yeah, apparently this game has some very narrow hallways. Well, at least it's a bit more exciting than Final Fantasy XIII. So, yeah. Uh, so, um, we will run into quite a few battles here. So, yeah. Um, apparently, w is this a new one? Let's see. Alatro. That's a new enemy that we have not faced thus far. Uh, the Flastic we have, uh, because those are the lizard-type sneaky creatures we've seen thus far in the game. And they can definitely... Um, uh, put us to sleep. So yeah, so let's put them to sleep for good before they do so. So let's see, the Latro. Apparently it is resistant to um, green moonstones and its main attack is that laser which can knock your party down. So yeah, uh, so um, let's indeed go for a critical hit with Ica. I suppose I could switch her over to another moonstone. You can do that by pressing the R buttons. I mentioned that in the previous episode. So, yeah, and oh boy, stupid Morocco. Yeah, I mispronounced it as Minorca. I'm sorry. As I say, so, um, yeah, so, what about Latro? Well, I do have enough SP now to use um, um, one, I say one, of um, Vice's moves. I also do not have enough um, MP to use any healing magic with um, Ica there, which is a shame because I spent a lot of time in the previous episode using Pyre with her, so uh, yeah. Ouch. You're gonna take that there, Vice. I don't really want to use um, his special move on one enemy, though, so... Sorry, Morocco goes down, and I, um, well, explore the ruins! Yeah, why not? And, um, no level up there, so... I will be getting one. Um, both my characters will be um, level 6 very... S no, they already are at level 6, what am I saying? So let's use a couple of magic... Oh dear. Yeah. That's the problem with the magic droplets in this game. It only heals one um, MP per, per thing. And uh, I will need to actually um, keep th that amount of um, MP for later. But now let's go back outside. And indeed... Um, well, on the outside is where we will need to go anyway to actually drain the water because we can't do it from inside, of course. So, yeah. And is that a... That's a good use of the lens flare. And that's not something I'd usually say in a, a game, but yeah. Um, anyway, we have another new enemy here. The Grouder. Grouder? Gruder? No, not Gruder. No, oh, uh, but... Definitely not grounder, you know, a robot that looks like a, like a mole, uh, that has a rather uh, doofusy voice, that's pronounced, that's provided by Optimus Primal. Anyway, that being said, what the grounder will do is use the panicker move, which inflicts panic status on your R party, which I believe is a bit like confusion, and um, that means they can attack not only your fellow party members, but, um, uh, but also themselves. So yes, uh, we want to be careful of that. It's just a shame I do not have a move which allows to attack more than one character. So let's see. Yeah, yeah I probably want to get rid of the Moroccas first. Just saying. So indeed, go for that. 
Oh, apparently it is um, not very strong against um, thingy, so yeah. And I don't want to be the victim of too many panic attacks. I didn't realize what I am saying there, but never mind. Um, so, now I want to use Pyre. I don't want to use too much of um, uh, um, Iker's hit MP if I can help it. So let's use Pyre and get rid of those Moroccas at least. So let's see. There we go. That gets rid of the Moroccas. And, well, one of the Moroccas anyway. Yeah, for whatever reason, it's kind of um, um, oblivious to my attacks. So. What can you do? What can you do? So, counter, and down it goes. See me. Oh, it should do! What the hell, game? What the hell? So, counter, down you go, and um, then let's actually attack. Yes, because I want to. Um, so, I might use a Sacri Crystal on Vice, because he needs it. He definitely needs it. And then... Well, um... Let's see. Down goes that stupid fish. Yeah, go back to Ape Escape, you son of a... A, a fack fack. Yeah, I heard um, lo more of Lord Wu fack facts than needed in that game. Anyway, that being said, down goes the shell head. Yeah, sorry. Morocco? No. Definitely not. Um, so, with that done, um, let's see. Any level up? Well, no, but I will after the next battle, which I will cut out, because most of the enemies I face from here on are mostly enemies we fought thus far in the Shrine Island. So, yeah. Uh, so, that being said, let's go down here and climb down the ladder. And there'll be a lot of ladders here in Shrine Island, seemingly. Um, yeah, so with that said, go around here and I get into another battle, which I'll fight off screen. Both Vice and Ica go up to level 6, which is nice. And so now, and another rank up where um, <clears throat> I believe uh, Ica just learned Noxie, which I believe heals poison. Now you will see under this door, there's a bunch of water flowing out and that is because yeah if we open the door the water will come rushing out and thus the water level in the central area of the um, ruins will be drained so yeah pretty good so with that said i say we go and have a look inside shall we yes because i think yes i think it's explorable now so let's see, do we want to go to the left? Yes, I do, because there was that treasure chest on the other side. So let's see if we can get to that chest. So we can go around. I think, uh, well, we, uh, well, it's actually to, well, it is to the left or to the right of the door. I don't know, but yes, we get a moonberry. So yes, so I'm going to have a look at the character's moves here. So let's see, let's go to super move in the menu. And we've already got one for Vice. So what about Ica? Um, yeah. Um, Ica can learn a new move. So yeah. Delta Shield. That move is will be very useful a little later on. Maybe not so now, but it will be useful later on against an optional boss. Um, we will face a little later on. And yes, there are optional bosses. Some of which I am going to face in-game. Because... Um, a for the experience and B uh, because um, of um, another thing that affects your party in game. But I'll get to that. For now, we can see um, here the glowing moonstone in the bottom of the area. So yeah, and we cannot get down to the bottom area even if we tried. So yeah, looks like we'll have to take the long route. So, both these doors we've been through, that was the door we went through there, so I want to go up, um, up that um, walkway to the left, and um, yeah, unless you're willing to swim there, Vice, that's a no-go. We already said we're not prepared to swim, so yeah. I might use another Sacri Crystal here. Yeah, I will use another Sacri Crystal, because 
uh, yeah, they heal pretty good, and I, that saves me having to use it with uh, Ica. So, with that said, we can see down there is a treasure chest. So, um, so, <laughs> so with that, let's go through this door on the right and go outside. So, um, over here we will see um, another walkway, yes. And is there any way onto that walkway? Well, we shall see. For now, I want to go around here. And you will see on the right there is another ladder, which will take us downwards. So, yeah. And um, to another door. Now, does this door... This door does not have any water flowing under it. But I want to go through there anyway, because it will lead us to a chest. So, yeah. Let's uh, see. Uh, at least I think it does. Let's see. Yep, there's the chest on the right-hand side. So, let's open it. And that will give us two Sacrius Crystals. And Sacrius Crystals is kind of the more potent uh, healing spell. I'm surprised we get it this early in the game. Especially because we won't be learning Sacrius until later. So now let's go down. And um, let's see. Can we get... I'm going to see if there's anything here. It don't seem to be, so yeah. So that um, area is blocked and uh, pretty much crumbled. So we have to go around to the right and down here is a save point. And uh, you do want to save here because there's a boss coming up. Yes, there is a boss coming up. So now in order to open the... Uh, to drop the water level up even further to reach the Moonstone, we have to indeed, um, well, open the door. So yeah, and... Um, Goodness knows where that water's going. Yeah, I wonder if anyone actually lives below the uh, floating island kingdoms here in uh, Arcadia. Oh well, there's the moonstone glowing as, glowing as brightly as ever. Really? Oh yeah, it does look rather big. And what's going on now? Seriously, what's what, what rock? What rocks are moving? Well, meet our boss. Yes, apparently uh, this is going to be our boss, a giant hulking stone golem. Yes, oh boy. Well, I did say there would be a boss, so um, indeed this is it. So um, let's see what this boss is called and what it does. So, um, let's see. Reggie Gigas? Is that you? Well, um, no, but it looks similar to Reggie Gigas. Sadly, I do not have enough, um, thing to use Cutlass Fury here, so instead I am going to use a, um, thing. Delta Shield I probably won't use, and Sacri is a no go, so, yeah. So, firstly, let's start off with a, a Pyrie spell course, and apparently fire doesn't do much damage to this uh, golem. So yeah, so I'm going to use a magic droplet on vice. Well, yes, on vice. Uh, because I think I will need it a little later. So, this, uh, this guy is just known as the sentinel. Really? Yeah, seriously. I'm just thinking, I think I'm just going to call you Reggie Gigas. Seriously, it's a much easier thing to say. So, uh, Sacri Crystal, yeah, this bot will... Uh, regular attack is quite powerful, so yeah. Um, as for healing, um, I probably will be using um, both Sacri Crystals with um, both Vice and Ica. So yeah, and for the moment I am just spamming Pyre. I know I do not have that much... Um, Healing I or that many healing items due to lack of a thing. The other thing he will do is use target search in order to actually um, get a critical hit on you. So yes. Um, so now let's see. I still don't have enough uh, thing there, so I am gonna have to focus. I think either that or use Alpha Storm. Now Alpha Storm as an attack is kind of not one of my favorites to use. So yeah. So, um, apparently I am using Counter-Strike, 
which may not be a great move to use with Vice. As for Alpha Storm, um, um, there I see um, Iker's solo move. It's okay. It's better used against multiple opponents, though. Um, and it also has a laser, does this Sentinel, so yeah. So I guess I'm going to have to use Focus here because Counter Strike is not going to work against this boss. So yeah, and um, yeah, I'll use another Sacri Crystal on you there, Ike. I don't know if Sacri is Crystal, but no, 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 she hasn't lost that much HP, I don't think. So Sacri Crystal, and that will heal you for 500 HP. Kind of generous, actually, at this stage in the game. It's 500 HP. So, yeah. So, what I want to do now is boost both Vice and Iker's SP here in order to, um, um, well, it's already up to 8. So, I think it's time to use Cutlass Fury on this guy. And I'll use Focus with Iker as well. So, yeah. And Cutlass Fury... This is my main move I will be using with Vice here. Um, so yeah, it does quite a bit of damage, even at this stage of the game. Um, if only I hadn't changed his uh, Moonstone to fire. I, I think this uh, boss... I, mean, I don't think he's resistant to fire, but... Uh, yeah. Um, and here's his main move, the Blaster. Basically, he charges up his cannon as if he's Mega Man and fires it straight at you. Yeah, very annoying indeed. Yeah, seriously. Uh, still won't have enough um, um, SP yet, so Counter Strike is going to have to wait, so I'm just going to attack normally and have Ica focus on. Oh, focusing, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Focusing. So yeah, I, he doesn't use his blaster more than um, every uh, other turn, shall we say. So, um, yeah, unfortunately this boss can counter-attack. I think I want to use a um, Sacrius Crystal? Maybe. Um, that heals, I think, for about a thousand HP, so yeah. Um, I don't think um, I want to use... Um, Okay, I may well use Alpha Storm because um, Vice needs a good healing there, definitely. That heals for a thousand HP, which I don't think my party do have, so let's use Alpha Storm. And um, yeah, for whatever reason, in the GameCube version, apparently the voice actors sound like they're going through a tunnel or something. I don't know why that is, but yeah. That being said, I do want to get rid of this guy, so... Um... Do I want to guard? Well, maybe I do want to guard, because I think he's using the blaster. Yes, I do, then. And... Uh, ouch. Good thing, too, it hits both your party. Which is annoying as fuck. So now I want to uh, use Cutlass Fury. And I don't have enough for an Alpha Storm, so I guess a Delta Shield. Now, Delta Shield is interesting. It does block attacks for one turn. Um, as I say, it will come in useful a lot later when we have a bigger party. So, yeah. So, target search. Looks like he's um, getting ready to use either the Blaster or another attack. Let's see, then. So, Cutlass Fury. And... Yeah, you can actually skip the attacks, but I didn't bother doing so this early in the game, but some some of the later fights do drag on, especially since I am under levels for a lot of them, so yeah. So, attack. Nope. I thought I was going to use another um, thing there, so yeah. I have enough SP for another Cutlass Fury, so... Uh, do I... Do I want to do that? Alpha Storm's not going to do shit here. But oh, never mind, I'm using it. Yep, I'm using it. Okay. I was wrong, it did do some damage. So, oh, a critical! And is that enough to bring it down? Well, yes it is! In fact, it overheats and pretty much explodes from within. Holy crap, talk about internal combustion. That being said, well, we are done here, and um, 
both of them are now level 7. So yeah, and a rank up for thing, and he, he has learned Incrum. Incrum is a decent um, move, which increases your attack. Um, I don't know. The ruins of an ancient Pokemon? Yeah, good idea. So, indeed, let's get the Moonstone. Yeah, we already ascertained that! Thank you very much! Oh yeah, because uh, Moonstones power the ships. Yeah? Yeah, if only. Uh, one more last fist bump. Uh, well, that being said, we have now retrieved the uh, raw moonstone. Thankfully, we don't need to backtrack all the way through the ruins this time. Although, we will need to in later dungeons. So, meanwhile, back at the uh, thing, something weird is going on, I think. Is someone coming? Oh, you're just stretching there! You're just stretching? Yeah, people are gonna think you're just being lazy like me. Okay. Uh-oh. Is that what I think it is? Great. A whole armada of ships. Let me guess, it's the Valuans or the Valuans? I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. And I doubt even the Blue Rogues can take down a whole armada of these things. Yeah. Yeah. Against a bunch of highly advanced ships? I don't think so. I don't think so. But yes. I knew this would happen. The Valuan Armada is pretty much blowing up the uh, Pirate Isle. Oh boy. <clears throat> well, you're gonna have to do something there, Dine. I wonder why. Are they that pissed off that? That um, we disgrace their their uh, thing. Wait, who the hell is Galchian? Well, believe it or not, he is the head of the Valuan Armada. Yeah. <laughs> Alfonso? Well, I think he's a bloody idiot. Wait, which girl? Which girl are you seeking? Don't tell me you mean Fina! Kill them? Kill them all? I knew it. I knew it. Well then, unbeknownst to um, uh, both Vice and Ica, I don't think they know that the Valuans have um, pretty much gone for um, Pirate Isle, which is not great. So, um, let's indeed go to the save point. And on the next episode, we are going to uh, go t and see the bloody wreckage that is Pirate Isle. So until then, I will see you later. Goodbye!